how you all doing? Nuno here and welcome back to my channel. I know today is a very different environment, isn't it? I've been doing reactions so far on my channel, but unfortunately guys, and I hope my subscribers stick with me, there is a lot of problems with doing reactions and I just encounter some serious problems. So I'm at the moment taking a break. I was gonna open this week a cooking channel and, and baking, cooking and baking. So I decided, you know what, I have done all this work on, the, on this channel, so I will be cooking and baking from now on. So today, guys, I am starting baking. I'm gonna bake for you guys. I am gonna bake this cake today, and it's called the yogurt sponge cake. Okay, so this is a recipe I learned myself from my grandfather's wife. Uh, I was very close with her and she was an excellent cook and an excellent bake and she was Brazilian So I'm not so sure if this recipe originates in Brazil or in Portugal where I'm from. I'm not sure But anyway guys, this is one of the easiest cakes you can bake. It's so easy a child can do it So let's get to it. So guys for this yogurt sponge cake. What do you need? Very simple very straightforward Okay, so you need four eggs in my case free range always you need sugar you need self-raising flour and you need one yogurt, of course, because it is a yogurt and actually, don't throw the cup away because you know you're gonna need this cup for this cake there is no need for weighing scales or anything okay, so you're actually gonna use the cup from the cake to actually do your measurements, okay? and you're gonna need vegetable oil so, you guys start with your yogurt, okay? so just put your yogurt in and then your oil one cup of oil, you put it in, and now we're gonna mix it for about one minute in low speed. So guys, once that is done, you're gonna add your sugar now, okay? So, like I said to you guys, you're gonna use the cup from the yogurt, okay? So, you need four cups. So now that we have added our sugar, I'm gonna add the eggs, but you don't mix the sugar yet, okay? So never crack the eggs straight into the bowl, just in case you have a bad egg, okay? Four eggs. Okay, now that we have added the sugar and the eggs, we're now gonna blend this for about three minutes in medium speed. So now that we have added the eggs and the sugar and you just mix it for about three minutes in, in medium speed, now it's time to actually add the flour. So you're gonna use the cup again and you add four cups of flour. So we have added the flour, now we're gonna add about a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder, okay? And then we begin to mix again, but just start because all the flour is in already, so just start on a very low speed, okay? And once the flour is like mixed through already, you can then go to a higher speed, but always medium. You don't want to over mix this kind of cake, okay? So guys, you blend it for about two minutes, not longer than that, okay? Because otherwise, if you actually over mix this cake, it's gonna be like super fluffy, and you don't want that to happen on a yogurt sponge cake. So it's mixed and it's ready to go into the oven. Now guys, the cake is now ready to go into the oven and actually I'm using a heart shaped one because I'm actually gonna give this cake to a friend of mine because she has two young daughters and they love this cake. What I always do is I apply some butter, okay, and then some flour on top on my baking tray that will just prevent the cake from sticking, okay? This is a really good trick. I also learned this from my grandfather's wife, okay? And then now we just gonna put it in. Okay. 
And now our mix is ready to go into the oven. So I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes in a preheated oven always, okay? Always preheat your oven for cakes. Now guys, as you can see, it's super, super simple cake to make. A child can make this, this cake. So the cake is in the oven. Now all we have to do, we have to wait for about 30 minutes and then we go and check. It should take between 30 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven, because every oven in the world is different, okay? And then our cake's ready. That's it, super simple. So guys, the cake has been in the oven now at 180 degrees for about a half an hour, 35 minutes, and I just checked and it's ready to be taken out. So I'm just gonna take it out. It looks absolutely beautiful. This is exactly how it should look like. So now I'm just gonna let it cool down for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna take it out. So guys, I have let it cool down now for a few minutes but it's still hot, okay? So what I always do before I try to turn it upside down is I give it like a little shake to make sure it actually loose because any baker's nightmare is actually getting a cake out of the tray. We are always praying, oh my God, please do not snap in the middle, do not break. You know, do not be attached, but I think I'm quite safe here. So what I normally do, guys, is I use a plate, okay? And I put it on top. And then, it's like this, okay? And then I just turn it upside down. And then I pray that the tray will come off. So I'm gonna use a little knife just to give it a little lift. Now, and there you go. You have your perfect break. This is perfect for, for breakfast, guys, okay? This is a really delicious cake. So I'm just gonna leave it here on the plate now and I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit, okay? And then I'm just gonna do a little decoration, not much. So it looks pretty, that's all. So guys, this is it. Easy, simple, pretty and above everything because that's the most important part when it comes to baking extremely tasty if you guys have never tasted this cake i highly recommend that you do okay and this is it and on my next recipe guys i'm actually making um quince jam just in case you never tried it or you never seen it you never heard about it, make sure you watch my next video okay so make sure you bake this at home let me know what you think and i'll see you next time Bye bye